In my high school class of over 200, there was only one young man with the name Cyril. It's not a very common name, and yet there are several saints with that name, including Cyril, the brother of Methodius, Cyril of Jerusalem, and Cyril of Alexandria in Egypt, whom we honor today. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki with some thoughts today from St. Cyril of Alexandria, who lived around the year 400. He was a great theologian, and in one of his writings he reminds us that as Christians, we're not separated from one another, but form one whole body, the body of Christ. And what makes us one in Christ? Two things, well, rather two persons, Christ present in the Holy Eucharist and the Holy Spirit. But here's how St. Cyril himself put it. If in Christ, all of us, both ourselves and he who is within us by his own flesh, are members of the same body, is it not clear that we are one, both with one another and with Christ? He is the bond that unites us, because he is at once both God and man. With regard to our unity in the Spirit, we may say, following the same line of thought, that all of us who have received one and the same Spirit, the Holy Spirit, are united intimately, both with one another and with God. Taken separately, we are many. And Christ sends the Spirit, who is both the Father's Spirit and his own, to dwell in each of us. Yet that Spirit, being one and indivisible, gathers together those who are distinct from each other as individuals and causes them all to be seen as a unity in himself, just as Christ's sacred flesh has power to make those in whom it is present into one body, so the one indivisible Spirit of God, dwelling in all, causes all to become one in spirit.